nerds and nerdettes. And welcome to another episode of Stevie B's unboxing videos. We got a mystery box today from one of my favorites, um, Mainstream Comics. Um, I uh, one of my subscribers I recommended these guys to him, and he pulled off the grand prize. Won the grand prize, uh, the final uh, the final issue of The Walking Dead, and it was signed and graded 9.8. Boom. So see, listen to Stevie B. That's why I do these videos. I, I show you where the good stuff's at. Where the good stuff's at, where the bad stuff's at. Anyway, these cost um, 30 bucks shipped, I think. But um, the guy that owns the place, his name is Dave. He's a really good guy, real personable, and I've talked to him a couple times. Thanked him for the last mystery box I got, which I won a little minor, uh, didn't win the grand prize, but I won a uh, little lucky ducky bonus prize in there, which was really cool. It was an Art Germ Catwoman cover that he threw in as a little bonus win. Um, but all the books that I got in there, I was really, I was really happy with, so... So, um, and they pack these really well. Now, whoa, look at here. Ha! Huh. Another bonus. Make comics great again. I love this hat. I love this hat. Me and this hat are going steady. Okay? Matter of fact, get my bald head out. Weird. I love this hat little play on the little play on the uh, on the MAGA hats that you either love or hate I don't get political on my channel so I'm not going there but I love this hat is that is that's what we all need to do make comic books great again in case you didn't catch it here let me let me model that bad boy for you yeah badass yes that's right I said badass there you go no kid tag for this channel <laughs> I actually ordered two of them that's how actually I ordered three of them but I ordered two of these and then he's got a special uh, like Christmas edition that he's going to put out or that he's has put out and wants to mail out to to uh, everybody that has bought from him and it will sell to everyone who's bought from him at a discounted price of only $20 so go to mainstream comics and check him out I'm telling you I'm fixing to unbox these and before I even unbox them I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that these boxes are fire dude um, um, matter of fact they're so fire Huh. Which one? Let's go this one. This one? You're going to have to wait till Monday. <laughs> or Thursday. You're going to have to wait till the next episode. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I got to stretch these things out, guys. I can't afford mystery boxes every week. So I've got to, you know, I've got to stockpile them when I got the money. And then release them when I don't have the money. You understand? You follow me? Go Stevie B. He, you know, he's not a rich man. I won't tell you where I work, but, you know, I don't make a lot of money doing what I do. But I can't tell you where I work because that would be indiscreet. Um, anyway. But, suffice it to say... I'm just an old man with a with a with a job that doesn't pay very well, but I'm still trying to give to my comic book community. And this thing keeps getting knocked over; it's empty, so I'm gonna throw it away. At any rate, all right. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I forgot how much Dave loves his packing tape. Actually, this wasn't. This one isn't near as as uh, 
taped up his last. If you remember the first one, if you don't remember the first one, go back, go back and I don't remember what episode it was. Go back and watch that one. He had this this thing looked like the Mummy comic books. So, I mean, this thing had more painters tape on it than I have ever seen. I don't know which direction to go with these because if I remember correctly, he doesn't put them in any kind of order that would uh, just, man. I just know that whoops, I pulled some. So, I don't want to pull the hit off out first if there's a hit in there. I don't want to I mean, you don't you don't start with dessert, you, but he does. He puts them in here kind of hodgepodge any which way, and so there is absolutely no way to tell which way is which. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I must let this soak in for a minute. They're not all like that. And no, this isn't a blank variant. We will save that one for last. Oh, man, right off the bat, dude is on fire. Uh, Dave, you... Oh, no, oh, that ain't funny, Dave. Uh, you'll see when I get to the last one in this stack here. That wasn't funny at all. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old anything much more than a boo and I'm Fred Sanford on your ass in the floor okay anyway let's go through these but you'll see the last comic not funny not funny at all <clears throat> anyway um, yeah Batman Beyond number 32 um, variant cover <laughs> that's awesome that's freaking awesome right there and I think this was my, I think this is better than my lucky ducky win to this next one. This is a virgin variant. I called the last one a virgin variant and it wasn't because it had, you know, the title on it, which just a, was a Freudian slip. But that, I think that's Black Cat number one, isn't it? Ah, I'll open it and see if it says on the back. A little trick I learned by watching the other YouTubers. Um... No. It's a Sujin Lo or Sujin It's that one. <laughs> Sujin Joe Art. Um Battle I don't know what it is. It says battle lines. I don't never heard of battle. Oh there it is. Marvel The Amazing Spider Man number twenty one. Okay, I had to pull this thing all the way out to get to it. But, and now I can't get it back in. There we go. All right. I hope you remember what I said, because I can't. Um, amazing Spider, well, well, we'll get there. Anyway, Virgin Variant. Jim Wong Hung Lo, Joe, whatever. I can't remember his name. I can't, I can't pronounce these names, but, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, um, oh, okay. I was going, what in the hell? Is that like a movie? It was turned around the other way. Uh, Detective Comics number 1000. Another, the 1960s variant cover by Jim Steranko. That is sick. That is sick. I'm telling you, man. These boxes are on fire. He knocks them out of the park every time, man. Every time. Um, yeah. Detective Comics number 1000. Um, oh, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. He's spoiling me. He really is. Um, Uncanny X-Men number 281. A new team is born. Like I said, I, I don't read X-Men, so I don't know if this is a key or not. That's another reason why I look them up, because it educates me as well as it does you sometimes. But, yeah, it's a sick cover, though. I, I appreciate X-Men art, but, you know, I just I, I just, I just never got into the X-Men. 
since the movies. And this one, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get. I've already can tell I'm going to get the other, um, the other ones. Of these because this is just gross. That's how sick it is. It's gross. Marvel's annotated number three of four. Yeah, book three of four. So now I want to get one, two, and four. <clears throat> but that's pretty freaking awesome. You know what? I'm, this one may get skipped ahead. Uh, I might put one. The original plan was to put two comic food boxes back to back. And nah, I'm gonna. Get, I love food. I gotta get. I want to get it out there. Okay, this is the one that gave me a freaking heart attack because I just caught a glimpse of it. And let's see if it does the same thing for you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, I I was like, what? So it's the Amazing Spider-Man Venom number one 3D. So is it Amazing Spider-Man number one, or is it Venom number one? I'm not sure, but I have seen this cover. I'm sure. I think it's the Amazing Spider-Man. I don't know, but it's did get. It like the stroked me out right here because I thought I, I thought I got a three hundred. That was dirty, Dave. Dirty. It's a cool book, but that was dirty. That was dirty. But anyway, oh, I I forgot the one that is double bagged and double boarded. Oh my gosh! I'm not. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. I'm not even gonna look. I don't even want to look. Let's see. How can I get... You You know, I haven't been doing this as long as you guys have. So, Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I can already tell because of the barcode. All right. You ready? Looks like Fantastic Four, number one. Variant edition. Okay, well, he he covered that up as a big reveal for a reason, so I I'm, I don't... Whoops, there's two bags on it. I don't read Fantastic Four that much, but it's a variant edition, and he covered it up for a reason. I'm guessing that there's probably something... It's got to uh, be a, maybe a low-print variant, but it's sick as hell either way. That is cool. Badass. That's twice... This channel is not intended for viewers under the age of 14. But anyway, <laughs> but cool, cool as hell. I don't know if that's a lucky ducky winner or, or he did, I don't know, but he threw this hat in. Um, I don't remember. I think you're only supposed to get 10 or seven comics. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I got seven comics. So one, two, three, four, five. I did get the seven comics, so it's not a bonus comic. I guess it's just a, a big hit. So, man, but look at these books, dudes. Look at these books. I keep telling you guys, don't sleep on mainstream. You know, you got your... I love Lewis and, and, and Comic Vantage, and his are, his are really good, too. And that Spider-Man booth, you know, whenever they get around to shipping it, Amazingly enough, by the time I get it, the Amazing Spider-Man 2099 will actually be current, you know. But uh, anyway, but I'm telling you, look at that. Variant cover, Batman Beyond 32. It's gross. Virgin Variant, Amazing Spider-Man number, whatever the hell number that one was, I can't remember. It's disgusting. Variant cover, Batman Detective Comics, number 1,000. Hell, it's a $10 book cover price. And this is a variant cover. The Stranko cover. Um, so, let me know if you see one you don't like. Just saying. X-Men 281. I don't know anything about that. 
one yet, but I would say that that's probably the the filler book. But I'm probably wrong because I don't read X Men, so it could be a Grail. A new team is born. Looks like Storm and Rogue on the front. Is that the new team? This Marvel's annotated. I read the original Marvels when it came out. The Alex Ross covers were freaking, or the whole book was Alex Ross, and it was fire, man. That was fire. So I'm sure this is all Alex Ross too. It looks like Alex Ross. He is definitely my my favorite artist. Um, yeah, it's Marvels. That was the original on the back. They got the original. Uh, so I'm not sure what the annotated is, I, but it's Alex Ross. So. And this 3D Amazing Spider-Man 1 Venom, um, it's polybagged, which pisses me off because I want to try the 3D glasses, damn it. But anyway, I mean, like I said, stop me when you see, when you see a book you, that you think is shit. Oh, another cuss word. Definitely can't mark this for kids. But anyway, see what you've d drove us to, YouTube. Now we're intentionally making these videos adult-oriented, so we yeah but all right don't get me started like i said um but i don't I, i'm curious to look that one up because he had it double boarded and he had it for a secret reveal for a reason so um yeah so i can't wait this makes me excited i'm not looking these up to see if i got my value i'm looking these up to see uh how much value i got because I, I i paid um, like I said, I paid twenty eight dollars for it because I got a a a discount code from from Dave. So, dude, this book's probably worth worth that by itself. But I was two books in, and I already got my money's worth one book in. Anyway, but we will do the eBay thing because that's what we do. And and today, Dave, you made comics great again, and we will be right back. Real quick, um, it'll be mentioned again and, and probably a future video, but by then it'll be too late. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this into the next video so that you can get a chance to order these before the time expires. <laughs> so um, the Mainstream Comics is having a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale where you will, for 20 bucks shipped, um, you will get one number one comic, one variant comic, one premium artist cover, and a chance for a lucky ducky winner, which is kind of like a little mini, like a little mini GP, but uh, just an extra bonus comic, you know. But it's pretty cool. But you get a you get a shot at one of these six grand prizes. So. Any one of those will be worth your time. Twenty bucks shipped, and like I said, you get you get three comics and a chance for a bonus comic, and a chance for one of those grand prizes. I'm not sure how many boxes he's going to make up. He makes twenty usually of the other ones, and when they're sold out, that's when he ships them. Uh, he may make more of these. He may not, but uh. <clears throat> um, and Dave, if you're watching, um, if you could leave a comment in this video, um, and, you know, share that information with my viewers, and we'd probably appreciate it. But anyway, um, as you've seen in this video, his, his mystery boxes are fire, and, and they're awesome, and I'm pretty, and I have no doubt that you'll get your $20 worth out of this one as well i've already ordered mine so uh, again i'll drop a link in the comment section or in the description uh, click on them get your box like i said chad one of my subscribers he won the gp this month's gp uh, that uh the walking dead final issue signed and graded so one of you guys one of my subs maybe this guy you get one of these one of these big gps man so get online do it you know you want to but on with the program all right we are
hour back we ran Dave and mainstream comics through the ringer like I said I wasn't worried about it because as far as I was concerned without even looking I got more than my money's worth I, I love I loved them all um, always do and I and I can't wait to open the, the another one um, learned a few things looking these books up that's another reason why I like to look them up not just to you know you know the value of them monetary wise is not as important to me as a collector as desirability I've said it a million times the only reason I look it up and see what the values are is to give you a non-biased uh, review of the comic books and the only way I can be non-biased is to say here's what people are paying for them and here's what you paid or I paid in this case and here's how much people are paying for them out there so there's your value but on a personal review love this book love it. I've been on a roll I've had I've opened two comic food books and this week and one of these um, the Forbidden Geek box on the last episode was it was dope it's it just, it just didn't pack it worth of crap and they got some damaged books but if they weren't damaged you know I would have nothing bad to say about it but this one was great making comic books great again man this hat's going with me everywhere me and this hat are, are definitely going steady but let's get to the values anyway all right this is the cover B of of uh, Batman Beyond 32 so cover B and it's going for about seven bucks This one kind of surprised me. The this is a Sujin Joe variant, Virgin variant. It's really not as valuable as I thought it was. Um, I thought it would be at least a ten dollar book, but it's about seven bucks. But it's still sick, still a sick cover. Like I said, I love it, love the cover. And you know I'm a Batman fan, <laughs> so you know I love this already. And the DC one thousand. This uh, Jim Steranko cover is going for about ten bucks, but a little nineteen sixties action. But again, love it, love it. The X Men book. Um, see, this is why I look things up. I had no idea. It's a little minor key. It uh, it's not ultra valuable. Um, it's only worth seven bucks, but it's the first appearance of. Trevor Fitzroy and also the first appearance of Wallace Portacio I don't know you read you read the X-Men books you know who I'm talking about that it's spelled W-H-I-L-C-E Wallace Wills Willis Portacio anyway it's his first appearance now if we could just get his first pronunciation in the next book will be all right anyway it's worth about seven bucks but uh but you know a couple first appearances in it so that's cool and here's where i i embarrassed myself um because i know that jim or jim ross jim ross slobber knocker it's a slobber knocker <laughs> not jim ross but because i knew alex ross did the original marvels um story arc I uh, and I should have known this wasn't I knew this wasn't Alex Ross it didn't look like Alex Ross's uh, artwork but I just assumed it was and that I was wrong but it is not uh, the cover is a Del Auto variant um, but I don't know if the I think the interiors are yeah it's uh, it's just a reprint from what I understand it's a it's a reprint of the Marvel's uh, story arc which was awesome so that's cool but uh yeah it collects from marvel's number three so uh, the insides are still alex ross i'm sure unless unless they just you know would they would they really redo the whole book and redo the whole art sure not they could just reprint it and put a new cover on it anyway that's awesome i want the rest of them so what did i say did i say uh, about 12 bucks for that one I don't know if I said that or not. 
um, ASM number one Venom 3D variant cover. Um, the one that gave me a heart attack. I hate these ASM 300 homage covers. Well, I don't hate them. I hate getting them in mystery boxes because they freak me the hell out. <laughs> I thought, because I want Amazing Spider-Man 300 so bad. I just don't want to pay 500 bucks for one. But uh, I got my carnage. I paid enough for it. But I want that one so bad. And I thought I got one. I was about to just, yeah. But anyway. Anyway, this one's worth about 10 bucks. And I'm pissed because it's in a poly bag because I really want to look at it through the 3D glasses. And I know that there's a few of you out there that are screaming at me through the phone right now going, Take it out of the damn poly bag. Jesus. If you get it graded, they're going to cut the poly bag off of it anyway. I know, but I'm not going to have it graded. Because I can't afford it. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a cool book. I'll keep it, though. It's a, even though it's kind of a, you know, homage to, you know, he who should not be named Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Oh, anyway. One of these days, he's going to message me on here and go, What the hell did I ever do to you? Well, let me tell you, Toddy. Anyway, <laughs> Fantastic Four. Um, this is the Bradshaw variant, number one. And it goes for about 10 bucks. I had a hard time finding this one until I figured out who did the cover on it. I just pulled up. Apparently, there's like oh, seven, eight 800,000 different color covers for this. But I found it, and it goes for about 10 bucks. So, adding that all together for my 28 bucks that I paid, shipped, um, comes to about 63 bucks. So, almost a triple. So, yeah. And again, like I said, value-wise, I really don't. I really don't care how much their eBay says they're worth. To me, they're great books. I like all of them. Um, I'm keeping all of them. So, screw you guys. I'm keeping them. <laughs> um, and plus $63 plus the the coolest hat on the planet. Uh, the hat, I don't know what to value the hat at. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's it's a cheap hat. It's 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 not a high quality hat, so we'll 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 give it a $5 value. But to me, it's priceless. Love it. But anyway, me and the Cobb Cleaver, we got an, one more box to hack open for next episode so for this episode uh, mainstream comics drop a link in the comment check them out I, I dare you to tell me that that's a disappointment uh, anyway peace out boom